Hey guys, I've been working with a lot of players lately, um, working on shooting and stick handling, and I've seen a lot of players holding their stick in different ways, and a lot of them are getting their, uh, it's hindering their stick handling or shooting, so I just wanna go through today on how I hold my stick and how I recommend people hold their sticks, just to give you more strength on your stick, and it probably help you in a lot of different movements. So first of all, USA Hockey actually has a recommendation on how to hold a hockey stick, and it's pretty accurate. There's something that I do a little bit differently than I would um, in the way they recommend. But basically they recommend you hold a hockey stick like a hammer and it's pretty accurate. Um, so I got a hammer right here. If I was gonna hold a hammer, notice that you know naturally I hold it to where there's an angle of the way the hammer's coming off of my hand and my thumb is on top of the shaft of the handle. And if you notice that my hand is not like this right it's not gripping with my thumb around I, because if i do that my hammer has like a lag and it's a little bit loose in my hand if i do this in this angle now i have a nice strong sturdy hand and i can use my wrist to um, to actually add in some some extra power okay so now looking at the actual hockey stick in my hand you can see that that same angle from the hammer um, now it's with my stick and there's an angle my wrist is pretty comfortable but my wrist is pretty straight um, my thumb is on the side of my shaft and that's definitely where I'm going to be stick handling like that right there along the side and my forefinger, so my index finger is on the other side giving me extra strength, you can see it right here um, and that's how I would stick handle. Now I have seen a lot of players hold their stick um, like this and this is really hard on your wrist, it really expands it, it makes the stick a lot heavier feeling. Um, you have no control over the blade of your stick like that. So really holding your stick like that, like a hammer, allows your wrist to move pretty freely. So this is where it's a little bit different than a hammer. I take the butt end of my stick and I put it right into the palm of my hand. So now it's really stuck in there, it's really stabilized. And you can see my pinky is actually just barely hanging off the edge. Well, this is pretty common. I know a lot of players that do that as well. Um, the reason being just because it's that's the way it sticks into um, sticks into your palm where it's really stable. Now talking about shooting, I place my thumb on the flat side of my shaft, again on the side, but at the top corner of that side. That really allows all that toe movement. That's where you get your snapshots and good wrist shots. So here's a clip of me shooting. You can see exactly what I'm talking about here. My thumb is placed on the side, the top side of my shaft. It really allows for a ton of wrist movement, but my strength and my grip is really strong. And so that's really good for snapshots, really important for slap shots, because that toe needs to make sure it doesn't rotate the opposite way. We want it to be able to snap down. Again, I think it's really important that you're thinking about the way that you hold the stick. It could be hindering you in certain ways. If you're using anything to do with your toe of your stick, so a toe drag, snapshot, even wrist shots, slap shots, because you need to be strong so that blade doesn't open up. Um, any of that, you need that thumb on the top part of your shaft um, so the blade doesn't open up and it stays nice and strong and steady. That's where that power and that strength comes in. Um, anything to do with stick handling, um, regular basic stick handling, you can pretty much keep that thumb on the side of your shaft and the index finger also adds some strength on the other side. So please leave a comment below if you try it and it helps or if you hold it a different way and that works too. Um, I'd love to hear any, any sort of feedback. Thank you for watching Outside the Boards with me, Jacob at North End Hockey. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to our YouTube page or follow us on Instagram to see more videos like this one. If interested in learning more about North End Hockey, check out our website, northendhockey.com. Thanks for watching.